Tonight, as Boulder mourns, we are learning more about those who lost their lives and hearing from the witness who streamed the horror live online. Here's CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti. Someone's down right here. Millions watched Dean Schiller's live stream. Guys, we got people down inside King Supers. Look, there's... Holy When did it become clear to you something was very wrong? Soon as I saw that body on the ground, right? Schiller had just left the King Supers ahead of his friend Denny Stong, who was still paying for his lunch at the register. There's a shooter, active shooter, get away! What Schiller didn't get know away. during his live stream was that Stong would be among the victims. He was a really smart kid. Uh, he was uh, training to be an airline pilot. The 10 victims range in age from 20 to 65. Lynn Murray was a retired mother of two, filling an Instacart order. Terry Liker, 51, worked at the store for 31 years. And Eric Talley of the Boulder Police was the first one on the scene. The 51-year-old father of seven ran straight inside, but never made it out. I was... Uh... Devastated when I heard the news. We spoke with his father by phone from his home in Texas. He started at the bottom and worked his way up. Tally had quit his computing job at age 40 to join the Boulder Force. He was also the kind of dad who taught all his children the Heimlich maneuver in case they'd ever need to save a life. One actually did. When Officer Talley's body was removed from the scene last night, it followed a long procession. Scores of first responders lined the street in salute. And after hearing of his death, his younger sister tweeted, I cannot explain how beautiful he was. Fly high, my sweet brother. And Tally was followed by other first responders who ran inside to help save lives. The governor visited Boulder today and had this to say about the scene, horror and terror as people shopped for milk and eggs. Margaret. Jonathan Vigliotti, thank you.